It is one of the world's great mysteries. What triggered the Dark Ages? When temperatures dropped and crops failed, famine and bubonic plague spread across the world. Well, now scientists think they, they may have a clue about what was the culprit, as Mike Drolet reports. Ancient texts speak of a dark veil that settled on the world in the mid-sixth century. The Dark Ages, as it became known, for the plagues that killed millions, the sudden fall of civilizations, the dying of crops, all in the years after the skies mysteriously darkened. And Dr. Robert Dull now thinks he knows why. It was this tree in El Salvador that provided the Eureka moment. Dull believed it died in 536 AD when a volcano under Lake Ilopongo exploded. Sending so much ash into the atmosphere, it was carried to the other side of the world. By any uh, measure, it's, it's one of the largest, uh, one of the five or, or six or so largest volcanic eruptions on Earth in the last 10,000 years. The explosion coincides perfectly with historic events that would happen, but Dull needed to tie them all together, which brought him to this tree. We had the perfect, you know, time capsule there because the tree was was killed by the eruption and snapped in place still rooted in the ground and then the the fine ash filled in around it like snow and, and entombed it the volcanic explosion made el salvador uninhabitable and would darken the skies in europe and asia for two years killing crops and cooling the earth from there dull's team began connecting the dots the first recorded spread of bubonic plague soon followed which would lead to 50 million deaths and the end of the roman empire in the modern era, we got a taste on a much smaller scale in 2010, when ash from an Icelandic volcano disrupted flights for weeks. And events that happens on one side of the world can have global consequences. And we see that today with, with natural disasters. Did the Ilopongo volcanic explosion start a chain reaction of events around the world? More study is certainly needed. But for the first time, scientists have hard evidence of an event that could be the first link in the chain. Mike Drolet, Global News, Toronto.